What is good in the hood? We got more SPL. Undisputed versus Ray Scarface, aka Ray Scarfacts. I don't know why he's calling himself that. Got the nice Toxapex balance on deck, the fat, super fat balance with Hippo. I don't know what his Hippo accomplishes. This team just seems passive, but it's probably T Spikes. So. Substitute Saga, but T Spikes is really nice, I guess. And then he just has some nice psychic spam with uh, psychic turn type of little plus mega metagross. Red Scarface is using some nice uh, Magnuson plus pins, a pretty common core. Magnuson traps, um, stuff like Skarmory, Celestia. So pins it becomes scary, but Undisputed also has metagross as a decent check to pins. And uh, Hippowden potentially to check pins if it has Stone Edge, but. I assume he's whirlwind her power on to just um, like he gets up rocks and then he whirlwinds around and he gets up teeth back with toxic pack and then he just tries to poison the opposing team. Like it is, I, th I assume that's the strategy of his team, like just in general. Can we see a nice elite? 4 4:33 a.m. for me, by the way. <laughs> so if I fall asleep, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Wait, this is like not good for his coffee, yeah. He just predicts a Scald, I assume. Ooh, predicts a Toxic, the King. I mean, going Type of was fine, like overall, no matter what Toxic Spikes did, he either goes for Scald, Toxic, or Toxic Spikes. Um, did he get did he get up a T-Spike? He did get up a T-Spike, but the thing is, this can just defuck the T-Spike. But yeah, Toxic Spikes can either T-Spike again and get back lefties, or go for Recover, exactly. And I think Grace Garfield will go for uh, Taunt here, so... I mean, Undisputed can either sit here with his Toxic Packs, which is what he decides to do, or he could have, like, made the more offensive approach and went hard into Lele or something to change the terrain and, like, try to get some damage off. Or try to, like, focus blast the potential AV Magna Zone. Um, I think actually look at Ray Scarface's team. I assume there might be um, a Helmet Tangrowth to check Metagross. And this Magnuson might be a solve to check Greninja, but... I've actually seen some Greninja run Max Attack with Low Kick to kill Tyranitar. Pretty interesting set, but I still think the special set... Like, mixed set with Gunk Shot and more special attack investment is better, but... I have to try that set out, maybe. Maybe I will change my mind. So yeah... And this is trying to get a burn here, and he gets it, but... Burn only cancels our leftovers since it got nerfed in the Sun Moon. But Feeny beats Toxapex when we want in the long run if it doesn't switch out to get region. And on the turn the Toxapex switches out, he can like Nature's Madness again and gets huge damage on something. Nah. Actually, I'm not sure Toxapex might even beat the type of Feeny. Because Moonblast only does like. I think that's like 10% only. And with leftovers, the Toxapex almost heals all of that bag. But yeah, I still think Fini beats the 1v1. Let me close my Skype real quick to avoid some lag. Um, I'm basically, um, by the way, I'm uploading the, the Jammit vs. Lefties and the Porsche vs. Flamvictini game for you guys at the moment. They call me young multitasking. So he gets into a hypothetical region on a taunt. Okay, it was a nice play on a taunt. Because Sandstorm like gives him some chip damage on Tabu Fini. Now he can just go back into Toxic Picks, I guess. But I don't really like Undisputed's team. It just seems a bit passive, but. And Sun Moon is such an offensive meta, but I guess. I guess it's like annoying to face because if the opponent doesn't have the right tools to break it, it can always work out. Okay, where Scarf is doubled into land on the packs, which was a nice play, and he's SD rocks, so the question is, is he Z move? I assume he would be Z move. He just goes for the chip damage. Okay, he gets whirlwind out. He wanted to get chip damage off, and then he could have gone for Z move next turn. Unless he's like the, the Roxy move, at least the Roxy move with Powder probably eats that up. The Roxy move is nice though to hit Celestina harder. 
So we got we went in tank jump or dragged in the tank jump. Took some rocks, went in the tank and he's probably just gonna go for a knockoff here on the toxic packs. Oh it goes for sleep out, okay. I I was like yeah. Actually yeah, I thought I thought earlier that he was like helmet tangles to check uh metal growth so yeah. Now I was like assuming he was A V, that's why I said knockoff, but yeah, knockoffs are obviously coming out obviously coming out the turn after. I think it's the one turn sleep. And this cheese spike is up. I mean the type of thing would have would get poisoned now if it wasn't already burned, but since it's already burned I guess it doesn't care. And he just goes and Afini uses his opportunity to uh, get the rocks away. The thing is, is actually like Undisputed's team like it. I said I don't like it that much and it seems passive, but it's actually working out so far because Rescarvis has to defog here, gets rid of his own rocks too. And he can just T-Spec again, exactly. And his Toxapex is getting healthier and healthier and it's just sitting there like. <laughs> and it's now it gets region 2, gets the sunstorm back to chip at this Fini. Um, but at least as a parting it's brought down a half. If this type of Fini doesn't have Scald, it cannot even kill the Hippodon, so Undisputed might just try to go for Slack off. Because if Ray Scarface stays in, his uh, type of Fini will get lower, but his sunstorm and um, this Hippodon will just get leftovers. If it stays in on a turn that Fini goes for Torn, I don't think Moonbath kills, but that's a bit risky because Fini might still run Skull. Most Fini's don't run Skull, but I actually like uh, Skull on Fini to burn incoming Tapu Bulu and potential Celestealers or other monsters that are in the air. Um, if Fini had like f six move slots or something, that one would be so good. As okay, he predicts him, he predicts him to go for. Torn and goes for off quick. Um, nice, nice play by Undisputed. Um, Ray Scarface is 3 0 at the moment, so we shall see. The other, the only other guys in Undefeated are Anti, he's 4 0, and I think X10 brought beat Rodri earlier, so he's 4 0 as well. Rodri 3 1, that, that match was like really hyped. I'm not sure if I will upload this match first or the other one, but stay tuned for that if I haven't uploaded before this one. So yeah, Ray Scarface gets uh, rid of the T-Spike, but Lele is in with Psychic to run up and this Magnezone is going to take a huge chunk. I mean, it actually took it pretty okay. So it's probably HP invested Magnezone. <laughs> you already know that's Chat Shell CBB in the chat, because Ray Scarface brought a stall in the first two weeks of SPL. Last week he brought some Duck Trio plus uh, Volcarona, which is... Pretty interesting to see the pattern in Ray Scarface's strategy. He brought a Trapper plus Volcarona, and now he brought Pinsa plus a Trapper, so kind of the same pattern. I honestly like Ray Scarface's team, I might just snatch it. <laughs> but yeah, and his spirit has like good tools. Ray Scarface might have to try to make like some a nice double later on. To catch the Celestia on Undisputed's part, but the thing is, if Celestia is but death, and if Mag like if Magnezone is slow, Celestia might even run speed for Magnezone. Let me check. Nah, actually, Celestia doesn't run speed for Magnezone because Celestia is not even that fast. Uh, nice toxic play there, catching the landers, getting chip on that. So I see Undisputed, Undisputed is just getting like his team is just all about that chip damage with rocks and toxic and toxic spikes. So yeah, Celestia only has 61 speed and Magnezone. Most Celestia run minus speed anyway, because they run mixed with Heavy Slam and Flamethrower. They run minus speed nature to... Don't lower their attack stat or special attack stat or any defense stats. Um, yeah, as Magnezone should probably definitely run some speed and Celestia doesn't run speed most of the time, so it's, like, it's definitely worth it for Celestia to creep to creep Magnezone because you need all the bulk you can get in my opinion to check uh, Tapu Lele. Nah, actually, you don't even have to be max the death, but you, you can afford to run some thing and not, that's not in bulk. As nice play by Undisputed, just... <laughs> actually, I don't know, that Wurgund actually would have worked out better there, but oof. The poison just just chipping at this. and. We might just see a protect here from the cell stealer, or we might see a flamethrower predict in the mana zone. 
Oh, we see hard Zemov. That's why I thought he might have gone for protect. Because that Zemov was kind of obvious. And it's scarcely like it's awkward. Goodbye. Nandos even lives the poison. And uh, not sure if Ray Skyris would save this and go hard into Tangrove. That would be an option. To have this as a, like a sack for later when the Tapu Lele comes out. But yeah, Ray Skyris is like shifting momentum in his favor. I was like talking about Magnazone versus Celestina speed, speed uh, stats. And I was like drifting away and didn't talk about the game and you guys see saw what happened. He got a nice SD off, got that nice damage on the hippo and then he all got the CLC with Z move. Um I, I, I can't get undisputed play where he was coming from. He kinda of, maybe he predicted him to go into the Magna Zone. Or he thought the Z move was too obvious. And he thought Riz Garvis would SD again on the potential protect. But Red West Gav has got that play correct. He's just in a good position now because Pinsel just became a huge threat with the Hippodon only being at 62, it cannot switch in. And Toxapex is asleep, so. How is Undisputed even winning now? Like, West Gav is just like, he can just came back from. by getting that thing move off on the Cell Stealer. Like Undisputed might have like could have played around that Z move by going either for protect or going into move back into hippo, but it's really hard to say, it's really hard to say. Like Z moves there's just so many options in Sun Moon, it's hard to play around everything. Wait, this is gonna get blown away, yeah I was about to say this like it's gonna get blown out the server like goodbye. <laughs> Lol, what did Anti say? What did P2 say in the chat? This is gonna do 36. Or did he mean 63? Oh, he said kidding, okay. Oh, this doesn't live unless it's max defense, maybe. Race garbage is savage. Is he about to 6 orders, man? <laughs> and I, like, I wasn't even sure at the beginning if he had the tools to break, but that break of ladders with the Z move came through for him. And he didn't have to even have to use his Magnus on. So he's just trying to get the chip damage with Sand. Maybe to bring in range for Metagross, but if it has like T-Punch. But I doubt I doubt Undisputed has any win condition at this point. Like this game is so over. I honestly didn't see this coming that Brisk Office would dominate this much. I thought Undisputed had like an okay annoying defensive core. Ooh, hard land on the T punch. Watch this back into Tangrowth. Actually, there's no reason to make that play. You can just sack his Landris. Exactly. I mean, Tangrowth would have eaten that up because it's minus one. But yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that was a fine play. No reason to save the Landris. It's not like he needs an extra sack. He's up 5 3. So now he's hitting his sleep powders. Oh, he missed one. It's nice for him. And doesn't he just like double into something? Okay, now he just goes for another. Thought he might double in the pincer. They like destroy the Lily if the Lily would stay in. I mean, Giga Drain is a lot to this, so there's no way that the hip powder is like eating it up. Unless it's mixed with that, maybe. Oh yeah, TDK is also for. Oh, I forgot to mention TDK. I said anti and Axel are for. Oh. But yeah, from the, from the players that are playing Sun and Moon, oh, you mainly. I mean, TDK played Aorus yesterday. <laughs> so you get the, the rocks, and this opponent just dropped. And this late game rocks. So he's going for flinch, is now only play. But even that can save him, I think. Nah, no, nah, no, that can't save him. I don't know why I said I think this game is over. Like, yeah, I said it earlier. I'm gonna see that I like Grace Garvey's team. That looks like something I might snatch. Wait, why did I then head but to 50 to the chain growth? What did my eyes just see? Is he like element mana cross? Why did it do 50? What? Scarf jump cleaning the building. 
Uh, I don't even think he bought this leap turn yet, so this is just gonna get two KO'd. And he wins 4 0, oh, like pretty impressing win. Wow, that actually is a lot. Um, yeah, Tabulay doesn't have the best defense. Interesting game, this like, was worth it in my opinion to stay up for. <laughs> nice 4.50 AM. And uh, the last game that is like left is P2 versus Adam, which should happen. When Adam appears, the game should be in like 10 minutes, but I don't know, he didn't appear yet. Let me just check the score for the series here. Um, yeah, okay, the Raiders were dominating. Scores 4 and 8. They already won the week race. Gav is like game in the uh, but he was like, he still dominated. And the, the last series. That is not like the last game. It's gonna be between B2 and Adam. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm at Bond, so the score is 5 and 5. Unless the ADV game already happened and I missed the ADV game. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting because no matter who won the ADV game, the score is gonna be like if the ADV game already was the score is like five and six. So like this is gonna be interesting. Whoever's like five, six, six, five in the back, they can like still make it even if they win here, which is interesting to see. So I will catch you guys with that next. I don't know if it's in which video. I don't have I have no specific like order in which I'm gonna upload these videos. So I will just uh, catch you guys when with more SPL just Check the playlist for a lot, a lot, a lot of content and stay tuned for that. Smash that like button if you like what you see. If you want to see more, Tokuch signing out. Thank you for watching. Peace out, friend.